In this video we're taking a look at the Sony Xperia U against the Sony Xperia P against the Sony Xperia S. So this is the range of handsets from Sony, the Xperia family, and you can see a very similar design throughout all of them. They've all got this transparent bar, they've got this square style design, and it's nice to see a family of three devices which appeals to different segments of the market. So we've got the low end, the mid range, and the high end. They've got a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences um, between them. So screen size, 3.5, 4, 4.3. Processor, 1 gigahertz dual core, 1 gigahertz dual core, 1.5 gigahertz dual core. So they're all very powerful phones in terms of processor. On board, 4 gig of memory, 16 gig of memory, 32 gig. So you can see if you're into music and media playback, you might want to go for the P or the S because it's got more onboard memory. However, they've all got 3G, they've all got Wi-Fi, so it might be possible that streaming music um, is an option for you if the budget doesn't allow you to stretch to one of these higher end devices. You'll actually see that on all of them, we've got these uh, notification buttons within the transparent bar. The S and the P have these three silver dots, which you actually have to press to activate the buttons. So you press the middle silver button to actually go home, and you don't press on the transparent bar as you may feel inclined to do so. When you come to the P, you seem to have to press more on the bar. You don't have these three dots, which is an advantage because it feels more natural Whereas on the P and the S, you may feel you have to press it twice to actually activate because you might not have pressed it quite right the first time. So the P has that advantage that it's actually a little bit better when it comes to the navigation on the buttons. Drawback is though, why is it not consistent across the whole Xperia range? Taking a look at the devices from the back, they've all got cameras, but you've got a 5, an 8 and an 8. And I think aesthetically from the back, the U or the S looks better, the P just looks, I don't know, a bit funny, I don't like this sort of line that's running um, down between them and this sort of panelling here, uh, but they're consistent, they're sort of flush back covers and we've got the Sony logo and Xperia branding. Another big thing is power button location. On the P, it's actually on, sorry, on the U, it's on the side here. On the P, it's on the side here. On the S, it's at the top. When it comes to usability, the P and the U are without doubt better because it just feels more natural when in the hand to press the button on the side. Whichever way you do it, left or right handed, pressing that power button is a benefit there. Whereas it can be a little bit more fiddly uh, on the Xperia S because it's a bigger device. These two devices feel more comfortable in the hand, but the Xperia S, of course, is more capable because of the bigger screen. So when it comes to web browsing and things like that, you get a more enjoyable experience. The other thing to consider is the Xperia S and the Xperia P have HDMI out, whereas Xperia U doesn't. You can't share content to the big screen through the HD connection. So on the Xperia P, you've got the HDMI connection on the side here. On the Xperia S, you've got it on this side of the device, but you've got a cover over the port, which is an advantage because it looks nice when uh, closed, but it can be a bit annoying and fiddly if you use the port repetitively. Um, you've got to put that cover back on and it just takes a little bit more time. So I think the P wins on that side of things. They all use micro USB for charging and they all have dedicated camera buttons on the side here as well, which is nice to see. And the volume buttons are two in the same location across all three devices. This uses a standard SIM card slot, whereas these two use micro SIMs. On the P, it's actually on the side here. On the S, it's actually under the removable back cover, which doesn't really serve much purpose whatsoever on that, this back cover. I believe the P actually feels uh, the more premium of the product in terms of actual material. The S and the um, U 
feel a little bit cheaper. The S and the P have fixed internal batteries, whereas the uh, U has a removable battery under here like so. That's not a massive advantage because uh, it's not very often we need to remove the battery, but there is that flexibility um, there if you need it. In terms of operating system, they all use uh, Google Android, so the experience is very similar on all of them. Uh, it's a bit difficult to um, sort of show you all of these in use at the same time, but in terms of browsing experience, um, they're all very comparable. Let's just show you some uh, media playback. So on the Spirit S, Now I think this is the best when it comes to actual sound output, um, which is important. So playing back video footage, the sound sounds better. Um, it's, it's not so directional. On the Xperia P, you've got the one speaker on the side here, which um, when playing media, as I'll just show you now, the uh, sound does sort of feel um, quite directional. It's something you get used to, but coming from the Xperia S as my daily phone to using the P, um, I found it a bit of a disappointment. So playback is still good on the Xperia P and it's a very good uh, you know, viewing experience. It's just that sound, it can feel a little bit um, directional. It's just something you'll get used to. And then on the Xperia U, um, video playback is, is acceptable. It's not quite as good as, as uh, the Xperia S or the P, um, but it's not bad all the same. So which one should you go for? Well, a lot is gonna depend on your budget and what you actually want for a device. This is gonna give you excellent value for money. The Xperia S uh, is actually going to give you the best all-round performance and if you're a power user this might be the device for you. However, if I had to make a decision, I'd go for the P, simply because it compromises and has the best of both. So you haven't got quite as much memory as the Xperia S, you haven't got quite a bigger screen as the Xperia S, you've got more memory and a bigger screen than the Xperia U. You've got the better button experience, you've got the good layout with the power button. It feels uh, nicer in the hand, even if the design isn't um, quite, quite as good. Um, it hasn't got the removable battery, but I think it's an all-round best performing device. It, it just works well, and um, that's where I would put my money because you get a lot of product uh, for, for a good price. And um, these, that's not to say these aren't good products, just if you had to choose one from the family from an all round perspective, this is probably the device that I would go for. So, until next time, thanks for watching.